All right, guys, we're gonna be hitting up these black infrareds, which obviously I have some pain issues, not the best condition. Oh wow, it's my first custom. Who cares? So they're gonna be hit with the all black murdered out treatment, even on the soles. So first things first, we're gonna have to clean them up. So I'll hit you guys with a time lapse of that. Nobody wants to see a whole cleaning video. Everybody knows how to clean. Let's get some water. Mix in some of your cleaner. Get yourself a brush. And I always use microfiber towel. Clean them up. So here we go. And let's get into it. All right, now it's on to the actual, doing the actual work. So as you can see, all cleaned up, that's what we can do. So first things first, we're gonna hit it with some Angelus Leather Prepare and Deglazer. So all you gotta do, you use cotton balls. Let's take, take it. I'm gonna grab a napkin. Get some on your cotton ball, and then you just gotta kind of just go over it. And then it's alright if it gets on there, but that's going to be blacked out anyways, so. So I'm just going to hit up the spot. And for the sake of this, I'm going to hit it with some blue tape real quick but as you guys can see that's the general thing so I'm gonna hit you guys back with the time lapse again on it and you'll and then I'll stop again when we get down to the actual painting. Alright so as you guys can see it's prepped the paint kind of goes around it, but it doesn't matter. It's going to be all black anyways. So, hopefully it's going to come out nice. I only taped up here. Because as you can see, probably should have done this beforehand, but it looks like there's still scuffing around here now where I used the prep. But it's nothing different than what's up here previously. So, I'm not too worried about it. You just gotta be good from a distance. So next up is the actual paint. So once again, I'm gonna hit you guys with a slow-mo, but basically, I'm gonna use Angelus Black. Got my brushes, very sizing. Just have some water on the side. And hopefully when I'm all done, I'm gonna hit it with the matte finish. So once again, I'm not gonna bore you guys. I'm just gonna just do this uh, speed up. So here we go. Alright, so as you guys can see, First, 
first layer is, uh, is done. Look at how it came out so far. Figured I'd just black out everything, so. For the back tab, black. That's all black. And tongue logo's black. Closer up, you can still see some hints of red on it. I mean, it's not too bad. Liking how it's coming out. Just gonna have to hit it up a little bit more because you can kind of see the brush strokes. I want a clean finish at some spots. You can see a little bit of pink showing. So I'm gonna hit it up some more. I don't think you guys need any more uh, time lapse. I'll just get to you with the when I get done with the doing my couple layers that I want to do on here. And then when I get done with that, I'm gonna hit it like I said with that matte finish up top. The next step are these soles. So it's gonna be a project, guys. But overall, the way they're gonna come out. I'm already liking it, because once you hit them with that flash, oh boy, crazy. But alright guys, let me just get to it and I'll get back to you. Alright guys, so I'm finished adding all the coats, as you can see. And, um, it looks pretty nice. I'm kind of mad I just figured out that I could have just used a flat black paint, instead of normal black paint. Um, because a flat black would already be like a matte black kind of finish already where this is as you can see is like shiny I kinda don't want to go for that I kinda want to go for the original like matte black that's on here I mean here's a side by side right now of the difference yeah, as you can see it's shiny but hopefully this matte finish will uh, do the thing so I'm gonna show, shake it up and then hopefully the cotton balls work cause this isn't clean, as you can see, and I'm just going to use a con ball, hopefully that will work, because it says, it says to uh, sponge or rag, but I think there's a con ball, but I think the con ball should be fine, hopefully, so. Um, I think we have enough on there. I'm just gonna rub it. Just gonna pick up the excess on the other side. Okay, don't want that to happen. I'm just gonna take a napkin, just stab it. And I'm just gonna see what happens. See if hopefully, hopefully we'll get uh, a little bit more of a matte finish. I mean, I don't know if it happens like instantly or not, but. I mean, maybe I'll just try this paper towel real quick, because maybe that'd be better. Okay, that really doesn't look like a matte finish, anything more than what it was, so I guess that's to dry or something, but I mean, we'll even do it with this, with a cleaner part of the towel that hopefully I can find. We'll just do it with this spot right here, 
Okay, that went everywhere. That went everywhere. Anyways, swipe it up. Okay, I guess I just let it dry because I just did it just like they would say too. So, and for an experiment, I'll just put more. Just put a lot down here on the bottom. Just glob it all up down here on the bottom to see if that gives it more of a. All right, so I'll just leave that there like that, and maybe that'll give it more of a matte finish. Because honestly, like here. I'm, back here. I don't mind that's shiny, that's okay, but let's see what it does. So I'm just going to leave the shoe like that. And then on to the next process, which is mixing up for the sole dye. Anyways, so now we're all set up. Ugh. Hopefully all good to go. We've got the mix. Which is just a black abyss right now from the looks of it. Time to make these black. Remember, just look, make sure that there's nothing really on there anymore. So we make all this black. I'm gonna try this on the airbag. Airbag, Air Max bubble. See if that does anything to it. So without further ado, I guess we'll get into it. I'm gonna mix. Make sure it's all nice and mixed up with this little one. And I'll start with this one, I guess. Just make sure that you get in those bubbles. But you don't want to get just a pocket of it in the bubbles. So this is probably going to take a bunch of coats. I'm just going to... I'm gonna mix some more dye in it. Maybe because I don't know if I'm liking how this is coming out. Looks like a lot more white. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like a lot more white than it is. So I'm gonna mix a little bit more black to it. And then uh hit you guys with the time lapse, okay? So that this is just like you saw me doing. Just take it and just lather it on. I'm not really worried about getting it anywhere else because of uh, everything else being black. So nothing really too much to worry about. But I just want to try to make sure that this is actually going to be black and not like a grayish tint because of the color of the soul bright. So I'm going to add a little bit more soul dye and then we're going to hit you guys with that time lapse. So. Try not to make a mess like before, but whatever happens, happens. Oh my gosh. Yep. Mess like usual, but yeah, so time to you guys with the timeline. <coughs> Alright, guys. <coughs> Sorry. So, as you can see, I got that nice matte finish now. I had to actually use uh, something besides the Angelus material because, sorry, it just wasn't cutting it. Uh, there's actually a spray that you can use like on patio furniture or anything like that. It's just a matte phrase from like Valspar or whatever. But you can easily pick it up from any uh, hardware store. I think I might leave that a little shiny. I kind of like that being shiny. But um, yeah, so as you can see, it's not exactly as dull as it, but it's a nice, nicer dull to where there's not really any shine. I might have a little bit of shine, but... It's not too bad. So now, time to take take care of these soles. As you can see, that was I didn't spray that. So I mean, if you use a lot of it, maybe, but it's kind of hard to tell. But anyways, time to take care of these soles. So all I'm going to use is the sole die kit that you get from Angelus, which include which you get two different colors that you can choose from. So I got jet black, 
for the black custom and then I also got a blue for maybe uh, my space jams I don't know if I want to put those as a blue bottom because the soles are a little yellow but yeah so first they give you this and then they give you a mixture of soul bright which you can use to make uh, these translucent soles icy again with the some sun or UV light or you can also mix it to make the uh, concoction for the soul dye now I'm just going to use some brushes I'm going to use a bigger brush just because I want to just get this done and over with and then I can also use smaller brushes if I feel like I need to. So you're going to want to do a good shaking with both of these and also punch this out so that way you can put this right back in there so that way you're not spilling it on anything else. Make sure you lay it out in tiles because this is going to get messy but just make sure you shake both of them very well and then you're going to need another mixing jar. And then the actual mix mixing jar. So I'm going to get two, since it's a one to one ratio, so you're going to get two tables, teaspoons, not tablespoons, that'd be a lot, two teaspoons of each. And then you're going to mix them in here and then it's going to shake it up. So I'm going to start with the dye, which if you want it to be a little thicker, or if you don't like how thick it is, then you can uh, use some more soul bright. So let's try it out to make a mess. Okay, and that didn't work. But this is why you put down the towels, because as you can see, that's messy. So we've almost. It's kind of hard to see how much, but we'll just eyeball it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a complete mess. Okay, I'm just going to take the thumb ball so that way I can actually see what we're working with, where we're at. Wipe out. Still hard to see. Since it's the black, it's kind of hard to see how much you got. Let's see, that looks like... Okay, yeah, this is really hard to tell how much I got. But... So then we'll just kind of try to eyeball it. Hopefully it'll work. Let's see. Okay. So you got about that much of the soul dye. So now we're going to use the bright. Leave that there. Stuff is thicker, so that's about right. And just mix it. Okay. And then I'm just gonna take my smaller brush and get it all up in there. I guess not to go everywhere still. Next, should get up. And then, real quick pause to go grab some water. So, as you can see, custom's done. Um, I had to use a couple coats, well more than a couple coats, probably like five or six coats. As you can see, I didn't really get all up in the bubbles, but I'm not really worried about that. You won't really see that. Honestly, I probably won't wear these all that much. Um, I mean, I usually, with my rotations, I usually try to wear a sneaker once and then pull cycle around through all my shoes I'd like to do. And then I go back to the other one, so 
you probably won't see a whole whole lot of wear but i'll definitely wear them um i mean if you see it close enough it's not flat black it's more of a cloudy kind of black from a distance you can't even tell at all you can't really tell i mean it's still cloudy but overall i like how it came out um definitely going to nickname these uh either blackout sixes or the batman sixes if you've ever seen the batman uh sixes with the boot for the actual batman movie uh kind of looks like this but just an overall comparison to the originals so pretty happy with how they came out and i don't think i'm going to use the lace lock i think i'm just going to leave them like this so let me know what you guys think about the video it took a lot of time and effort um so please leave your comments on what you think about the video everything that i used in this video will be on angelus.com please uh use the link that's in the description that'll help me out a lot guys and uh be sure to check me out hopefully i have some more videos all right guys so uh, until next time we're out